from Movies Gone Gluten Free, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Maryland's Gluten Free Gourmet Bubble Bread. So I've got the bubble bread mix right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to pour our mix into the bowl, which I've got right here. So we're going to pour in all of our mix. And then once your bag is empty, you're going to add in one egg. And 12 ounces of your favorite carbonated beverage. Now, today I'm just gonna keep it simple and I'm gonna use club soda. So I'm taking it out of this bottle and I'm gonna take my measuring cup and pour in 12 ounces. So what you're going to do is just add in twelve ounces of club soda. And then your mix will look something like that Here. like that then you're going to take a spatula and mix it all by hand so just like so I'm going to tilt this down so that y'all can see so what you're going to do is just mix it all together and after that point, once it's all smooth, it should look something like this. So then you're going to take your greased bread pan, this is a 9 inch by 5 inch bread pan, and you're going to take your mixture and put it into your bread pan. Right? So after you get it all into your bread pan, you're just going to smooth it down until it all looks even in your bread pan. And then it should look something like this. I'm going to try and even it out some more. Okay. So something like that. Once you have that, you're going to take it and put it into your 350 degree oven for an hour. So I'm going to stick this on the bottom rack here. Close that and then set the timer for an hour. So I will be back with y'all in about 60 minutes to show you what it looks like once it's baked. And then I will review it on the blog today. So, stay tuned. Okay y'all, so I've taken my bread out of the oven. It came out of the pan absolutely beautifully. Here's how the pan looks. Um, and now I'm going to do a light brush with butter. What I did is I took a quarter cup of butter as per the directions on the package and melted it. And so I've put my bread on a baker's, you know, on a cooling rack covered with foil. 
And so now what I'm gonna do is just take my butter here, um, and I'm gonna brush it on top of the bread. Now you can also use coconut oil if you want to keep your food, you know, you want to keep your bread dairy free. Now you also could have used like applesauce or another egg substitute. You could have used like a flax egg or flax egg or something if you wanted to keep this egg free as well. Um, the bread itself is, the bread mix itself is gluten-free, wheat-free, GMO-free, dairy-free, soy-free, egg-free, and nut-free. So, if you have allergens to any of those as well, then you could just use coconut oil opposed to your butter, and you could use an egg replacement opposed to an egg, um... Then I also have another one to try later this week or something for y'all. Um, that's a rosemary bubble bread from Maryland's Gluten-Free Gourmet. And so I will definitely be telling y'all what I think about that one as well. I just may not do a video for it. So y'all stay tuned. The review will be on my blog later today. And I will tell y'all exactly what I think about this bread. But currently, I'm really, really pleased with the fact that I just spent an hour, and this is what it looks like. Um, it's beautiful. It smells fantastic. And it came out of the pan just so cleanly, just like not even a minute after coming out of the oven. So I'm very, very impressed so far, and will continue to let y'all know what I think about it. I'll see y'all later. Bye!